nice when there's like confetti falling from the night before. <laughs> Makes it look like we couldn't really afford all that much confetti. No, 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 it looks like you can't contain it. It's the best we can do. Out. Eight pieces. Those eight pieces are working their ass off. Who here knows about my dear friend and business partner, Mr. Roy Malone? Oh, yeah. Well, if you know Roy, like I know Roy, then you know that Roy is constantly reviewing situations. <laughs> Products, environments, buildings, cranes, cars, areas of wilderness. He's reviewing these things and he's given them a score out of five in his mind constantly. The big question is, what does Roy do with these reviews? Where do they go? <laughs> For a while there, he tried to upload them onto the Google database. <laughs> and they removed him for giving too many five-star reviews. <laughs> He's fucking with the algorithm. <laughs> Came to me about two years ago, Roy did, and said, I got an idea. I said, so we're telling you your idea. What is it? No, I'm going to write a book. He said, I want to start putting live reviews, smack bang, in the middle of the set. Yeah! I said, that's all well and good, but what are you going to review? We disagree with reviewing people. <laughs> it doesn't feel right. You can tell when we get a bad review. They're reviewing me as a person. <laughs> and maybe I am just a 6 out of 10. I don't know. Yeah. But just review the music, you know what I'm talking about? Anyways, we, we don't review people. But thank you for the... The, the excited request. <laughs> Roy came to me, he said, I'm gonna review the piece of furniture I'm sitting upon on stage. <laughs> so yes, he said, I promise you, you put that thing smack bang in the middle of the set, the crowd's gonna go fucking bananas. <laughs> Are you going to make Roy a liar? No! You want to hear a store review? Yeah. Then please join me and welcome to the microphone for a very special live edition of Roy's store reviews. <laughs> Reviewing the very piece of furniture he's sitting upon on stage. Yeah. It's the one and only Roy the Lord. Thank you. Yes. Come on, I say what a pleasure it is to be back in San Francisco. You know, I only just met this stool as soon as I walked out on stage. I've never seen it before. They, uh, someone scurried up here uh, after we sound checked and, and left it. Uh, and it's actually a pretty unique stool. It's like a sock. Did someone say mid century? Yeah! Well, I can't verify that. <laughs> so we'll just leave it be. It says, uh, it actually has some writing on it, some information. It says, can you see that? It says, sound stool. <laughs> say that belongs to the sound guy. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, Joe! Yeah, Joe! Yeah, Joe! It's just a very sound stool. Other answer will do. You guys take your choice. 
That really is a solid piece of timber though. That's, that's nice. Nice, strong footrest. That front one's gonna be for resting your foot upon. The ones on the side here, structural support. <laughs> Yeah, they've four gone. Any of that nonsense. It's feeling a little naked at the back, but that's okay. Why is it Yeah. Someone said something disgusting. <laughs> I really like the, the sort of waved, the beveled. Uh, can you guys see that? Yeah! yeah. That is like. Crap, that is a dream come true. I don't even know. Yeah. I don't know the words <laughs> I'm just gonna have to. It all makes perfect sense once you sit on it. God, that feels good. You can roll back and just sort of be collected by the, the scoop of the seat, the, the rear there. Large bucket area, common of American stools. I would describe the butt feel as warm. Yeah. But, uh, it's a nice lacquer on there, it gives it a feeling of warmth, I think. It's really quite lovely. Very stable as well. Nice height. Uh, yeah, all in all, happy with the sitting experience. I mean, I do, I'm let. I said when I set out on this with Alex years and years ago, we said, we're never going to lie to the people of San Francisco. And I don't intend to start now, so I'm going to point out some of the negative features. Duct tape. It is covered in, uh, in graffiti and writing. You guys can't see that because they've given it a go at cleaning it. They've written the word audio three or four times. Sound. More and more I'm starting to think this is the property of with my colleague over there. <laughs> so thank you again for lending that to me. At the front, it's got some wear and tear on the front legs there, which you guys can see. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not actually gonna judge the stool too harsh for that, because that's a, that's a sign of a seasoned campaigner, you know? It's a stool that's done the hard yards, it's sticking with us, it's doing the work, and I appreciate that. It's unique. It's... It is beautiful. This is a beautiful yeah. piece of furniture. Yeah. It's unique, it's beautiful, it's sturdy. Uh, it's been lent by a friend, which I really like. Also, again, I really, I really am happy to be back in San Francisco. That's no joke, man, I love it. I'm not going to let that affect my judgement. I've reached my conclusion. First show of the West Coast run. I want to give this stool four stars out of five. Four stars out of five. That's not that's, that's fucking good. Hey, one more time for Ron Lloyd. Come on, keep it going.